Hello everyone. Today we will talk about United Kingdom or UK sole representative visa. Are you an overseas business owner looking to establish a presence in the United Kingdom? Or are you an employee of an overseas company tasked to establish a commercial presence in the UK? If so, then the UK's sole representative visa may be the perfect option for you. The sole representative visa is a type of visa that allows an individual to come to UK to establish a commercial presence for an overseas business. The visa is intended for those who are employed by an overseas company and are planning to come to UK to solely representative or solely represent the company of their own country. To be eligible for a sole representative visa, an individual must meet certain requirements. These include being employed by an overseas company, having the authority to make decisions on behalf of that company, intending to establish a commercial presence for the company in the United Kingdom, having no other employees in the UK, meeting the English language requirement, and lastly having good enough fun to support themselves while in the UK. So what are the benefits of sole representative visa? There are many benefits to a sole representative visa. For one, it allows an overseas company to establish a presence in the UK without having to set up separate legal entity. This can save time, money, resource. Additionally, it allows the company to explore new business opportunities in the UK market. And not to mention, London is a global hub for finance, technology, innovation. And no wonder that many overseas companies choose to establish a presence there. But navigating the visa process can be challenging. That's where immigration lawyers comes in. Now, how can an immigration lawyer help with the sole representative visa? Well, an immigration lawyer can provide guidance, support throughout the process and this includes helping the application itself, advising and the required document and ensuring that the applicant meets all eligibility criteria. Additionally, an immigration lawyer can provide ongoing support throughout the visa validity period helping to ensure that the visa holder remains compliant with the UK immigration law. As previously stated, the application process for a sole representative visa can be complex. It's important to have the right guidance and support. Well, let's discuss about the process. The applicant must complete and submit an online application form and four criteria must he make sure. 1. Documentation the applicant must provide supporting documents such as a letter from the overseas company confirming their role and responsibility, biometric enrollment, the applicant must visit a UK application center or VFS to provide biometric data such as fingerprints, interview. In some cases, the applicant may be required to attend an interview, but it's not in every cases, but it is required in some. And finally, the decision. The UK visas and immigration department will review the application and make a decision based on interview and the documents. Now let's take a closer look at each step of the application process. Here are the steps you can follow to obtain a UK sole representative visa. Step 1. Check your eligibility. Before applying for a UK sole representative visa, you should ensure that you meet the eligibility criteria. As mentioned earlier, you must be an employed of an overseas company, have the authority to make decisions on behalf of the company, intend to establish commercial presence in the UK, and have no other employees in the UK. And lastly, you must meet the language requirement. And not to mention, you must have enough funds to support yourself while in the UK. Now, step two, let's talk about the documents. Once you have confirmed your eligibility, you should gather the required documents. This typically includes a valid passport or travel document with at least six months validity, a letter from the overseas company confirming your employment 
position and the purpose of your visit. Evidence of your authority to make decisions on behalf of the overseas company. Evidence of your financial means to support yourself during your stay in the UK. Proof of your knowledge of the language or the IELTS results. And lastly, a TB test certificate. Step 3 is completing the online application form. Once you have all the required document, you can complete the online application form on the UK visas and immigration website. You will be asked to provide personal details, travel history and information about your employment with the overseas company. Pay your application fee could be the fourth step where you will need to pay the application fee when submitting your application. The fee can vary depending on your location and the length of your stay in the UK. You can pay the fee online using a debit or credit card as well. Step 5 is scheduling your biometric appointment. Once you have submitted your application and paid the fees, you will need to schedule a biometric appointment at a visa application center. At the appointment, you will need to provide your fingerprints and a photograph. And the sixth step would be attend an interview if required. In some cases, you may be asked to attend an interview at your visa application center or VFS. The interview is typically conducted in English and is used to assess your intentions and eligibility for the visa. And the last step would be wait for the decision. After your biometric appointment, the interview if required, you will need to wait for a decision on your visa application. The processing time can vary, but typically takes around 3 to 4 weeks. You can check your status of your application online or via your email. If your application is approved, you will receive a letter confirming your visa and the conditions of your stay in the UK. If your application is refused, you will also receive a letter explaining the reasons for the refusal and your options for appeal. I hope this video helps. If it does, please like, share and comment. Also, if you'd like some help with this in your native language, be that Hindi, Bangla, Urdu, Tamil or any other, feel free to ask. We also work with top immigration lawyers and firms in the UK and they help with these visas every single day. So if you need to apply and need some help, feel free to contact us. Thank you very much. Good night.